Hi everyone. Um, let's get started with our hello song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine. I hope you are too. I am fine. I hope you are too. I am fine. I hope you are too. I hope you're fine today. Cup in my hands, you do it too. Cup in my hands, you do it too. Cup in my hands, you do it too. Clap your hands with me. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving already. And so I have a special Thanksgiving book. It's called, Thank You, Sarah, The Woman Who Saved Thanksgiving. And it's not me, Sarah, it's another Sarah. And this book was written by Lori Hulse Anderson, and it was illustrated by Matt Faulkner. You think you know everything about Thanksgiving, don't you? How the Native Americans saved the pilgrims from starving. How the pilgrims held a big feast to celebrate and say thank you. Turkey, pumpkin pie, cranberries, the works. Well, listen up. I have a news flash. We almost lost Thanksgiving. I know everyone looks shocked, upset. I would be too. I love Thanksgiving. Didn't know that, did ya? It's true. Way, way back when skirts were long and the hats were tall, Thanksgiving was fading, fading away. Sure, the folks up in New England celebrated it. They would roast a turkey and invite the relatives when the harvest came in. But not in the South. Not in the West, not even in the mid-Atlantic states. More and more, people ignored the holiday. Thanksgiving was in trouble. It needed a superhero. Yeah, because superheroes, they always save the day, don't they? No, not that kind. Thanksgiving needed a real superhero, someone bold and brave and stubborn and smart. Thanksgiving needed Sarah Hale. Now, I know what you're thinking. She doesn't look like a superhero. She looks like a dainty little lady. Never underestimate dainty little ladies. So there's Sarah Hale. Sarah Hale was every inch a superhero. Not only did she fight for Thanksgiving, she fought for playgrounds for kids, schools for girls, and historical monuments for everyone. She argued against spanking, pie for breakfast, dull stories, dull stories, corsets and bloomers and bustles, and very serious things like slavery. She sounds pretty cool. Although, I gotta say, I don't think there's anything wrong with pie for breakfast. As if that wasn't enough, she raised five children, wrote poetry, children's books, novels, and biographies. She was the first female magazine editor in America. She published great American authors and composed Mary Had a Little Lamb. How did she do all those things? She was brave, stubborn, and smart. And Sarah Hale had a secret weapon. Ooh, so I'm going to learn how she was able to do all this. What is her secret weapon? A pen. When Sarah saw something she didn't like, she picked up her pen and wrote about it. She wrote letters, 
She wrote articles. She wrote and wrote and wrote until she persuaded people to make the world a better place. Nothing stopped Sarah. Ah, I like this Sarah Hale, don't you? Sarah Hale loved Thanksgiving. She wanted the whole country to celebrate it on the same day. Well, when folks started to ignore Thanksgiving, that just curled her gravy. She picked up her pen. Sarah wrote letters, thousands of letters, asking politicians to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. She wrote magazine articles asking her readers for help. So, oh my, that's a big bag of letters. The women of America listened. They put down their babies, their hoes, their skillets, and their washing. They picked up their pens and wrote. When the letters arrived, the politicians listened too. One by one, the states officially made Thanksgiving a holiday. But that wasn't good enough. Sarah Hale wanted the whole country to celebrate together, like a family. She went to the top. And I like that because of the idea, because isn't it nice that we all celebrate Thanksgiving on the same day? Sarah wrote to the president himself, Zachary Taylor. He refused. Did that stop Sarah? No. She waited for the next election and wrote to the new president, Millard Fillmore. He said no, too. Did that stop Sarah? No. She was bold, brave, stubborn, and smart. Sarah wrote to the next president, Franklin Pierce. Wouldn't a national day of Thanksgiving be wonderful? No, Pierce grumped. Oh dear, that's a lot of people she's writing to. Do you think she's gonna give up after three presidents said no? Sarah penned an elegant letter to President James Buchanan. She gave all the reasons why America would be better off if everyone gathered on the fourth Thursday of November to give thanks. President Buchanan disagreed. So he doesn't want to have Thanksgiving either. Poor Sarah. Sarah felt like the stuffing had been kicked out of her. Everything was going wrong. America was at war, the North against the South. States that had promised to celebrate Thanksgiving changed their mind. The country was falling apart. It was a bleak and scary time. Did that stop Sarah? No way. Nothing stopped Sarah. Superheroes work the hardest when things get tough. She picked up her mighty pen and wrote another letter, this time to President Abraham Lincoln. America needed Thanksgiving now more than ever. She wrote Mr. Lincoln's name and address on the envelope and stuck on a stamp. She mailed the letter. She waited, and she waited. And then, let's see, is it going to be President Lincoln? What's he going to say? Lincoln said yes! Lincoln said yes! In 1863, President Lincoln made Thanksgiving a national holiday a day for all Americans to give thanks together. It took Sarah Hale 38 years, thousands of letters, and countless bottles of ink, but she did it. Nothing stopped Sarah. That bold, brave, stubborn, and smart lady saved Thanksgiving for all of us. Yay, she did it. 
and it took her a long time. She didn't give up. She kept trying. Thank you, Sarah. The end. Wasn't that a fun book? Did you know that about Thanksgiving? So one of the things that sometimes people do at Thanksgiving is they say what we're thankful for. So let's see, I'm thankful for my mom, my sister, my brother-in-law, my wonderful nieces, and of course my cat Giles, who is all the way over across the room. So I don't think he's going to make an appearance today. So I would like you to think about what you're thankful for. And so we're going to sing a song now. We're going to sing If You're Thankful and You Know It. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, pat your head. If you're thankful and you know it, pat your head. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, pat your head. If you're thankful and you know it, pat your knees. If you're thankful and you know it, pat your knees. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, pat your knees. If you're thankful and you know it, wave your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, wave your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, wave your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, wiggle your ears. If you're thankful and you know it, wiggle your ears. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, wiggle your ears. If you're thankful and you know it, tap your shoulders. If you're thankful and you know it, tap your shoulders. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, tap your shoulders. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am. I am. Yay. So I hope you enjoy my Thanksgiving edition of Storytime with Miss Sarah. I hope that you all have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. And like I said, just take a moment to think about what you're thankful for. So again, happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you next week.